Hey, I'm gonna do a little uh, tutorial thing on how to make a slicer in VCV rack, a sample slicer, sort of like um, you know a classic sort of sampler. You will put in a, a little sample and then it'll split it up into maybe 16 little slices. Um, this is something that we can do here with a little bit of math. So um, I have a new patch here. I'm just gonna start by. Kind of deleting some of the stuff that it comes with. I don't need all this stuff. Um, and then I guess you usually like to put the filter between the mixer and the output just so I can um, use the VCF to kind of control the level. And so now. I'm going to bring in our sample player, which is this thing by Nisthi called Susudio. This is super cool because it has eight different playheads that you can control and loop independently. So for now, I'm going to load in a wave file. Which I'm just going to find real quick. This is just a little kind of sound from F0X video game, kind of bubbly little noise, so um, each of the playheads is a stereo out, so I'm just going to use this octa plus thing to combine it with a mono and I'll be able to hear it. So I've already kind of prepared the sample a little bit by chopping it down to like the right area, but I'm going to get a little more specific and actually pick a certain part of this, which I'm going to then go ahead and slice. So um, I can control the playheads here uh, using my mouse, um, or by using, and you can see that these little knobs down here are turning in response. So, or I can just use these, or I can use uh, CV inputs. Um, and I'm actually going to use CV inputs in this case. I'm just going to use these knobs here and just kind of do a one-to-one -one mapping on this thing so now I can find my um, <clears throat> my clip that I want to use So now, kind of um, thinking about how I'm going to slice this up, right? So let's say I want to slice this into four different chunks. So what's kind of the algorithm we're going to use here? Uh, so we have, so to start out with, we can start with the length of our total clip. So we have total length and then we want to see what our total length is, so we can use this multi volumetro thing to kind of print out some numbers. And so, what is the total length? It's going to be the second um, bound minus the first bound. So we can use the subtract node here, and then subtract the the first from the second to get the total length, which is two point four six seconds. Um, so it's just like, it's right here, it goes like 2.5, whatever. And then what is our going to be our length of our slice? So say if we have four slices, so then we can say slice length equals total length divided by four. Now how do we do that in terms of VCV? Well, we can use this, um, this thing. I just typed in multiply. And then there's this note by, um, where it come by? Um, little utils. But so, so essentially, I can take this first, uh, the length here, 
And now I need to divide it by 4. How do I get 4? Well, I can use just this constant voltage generator, which I just type in uh, semitones. And I can change this to 4 voltages. Uh, and then the length divided by 4 is going to be 0.6, as you expect. And now we have our total length and our splice length. Now how do we turn this into bounds? for the individual slice as well. Let's just say we're playing our first slice here. So what is the, let's just say slice, slice one. And what is the start bound? It's going to be the, uh, the like original start. So the, I'll say the original start is like this knob right here, which is the, the point at the, where it begins at. It's going to be the original start plus slice length times slice index. So um, the original start plus 0.61 times 0 is going to be the original. And then times 1 is going to be here. It's going to be, so we can actually kind of see it as well. I know this has been kind of a mouthful, and it's kind of hard to visualize it. I'm just talking in numbers. But um, we can actually pretty much visualize it at this point. So we just need to uh, figure out how to codify this value here, the slice. Uh, so like I said, it's going to be the original start plus. So we do an add node here. Um, but we take the original. And what are we adding here? The slice length times the slice index. So if we have a multiplication operation. We need another one of these. And the slice length is going to be what we called right here. This is the slice length times the slice index. Well, what is the slice index? We don't have that yet. So I'm going to duplicate this over here, and I'm just going to kind of fake this. So we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, and I can move these through a sequential switch. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we can just, for now, we can just manually move through the sequential switch with this button here. And so this will simulate my uh, the index of my slice. Like if I really plugged in like a, you know, um, an MPC or something, I could figure out another way to do this part. But for now, I'm just going to have like moving through the slices sequentially. So this goes right here, and then this goes over here. Um, and now right now it's 0. Well, it's because I haven't really fully made use of um, Right, this isn't correct. So, because the slice length from right here is supposed to get multiplied by that, which is getting added to that. Now, why is this 0, 0.0? Um, I believe that the original playhead is at 0, 0. So, if I go, yeah, so now if I use this value here, instead of just passing it to multiply, if I actually use this as I start bounds, you can see, you see it, it's going in, there's four. This is first clip. Second clip, third clip, fourth clip, or fourth slice, right? This is exactly what we want. Now I just need to figure out how to do the end bounds accordingly. So, uh, what's the formula for the end bounds, right? Um, we'll just say like, um, end bound is going to be the original start. It's going to be almost the same thing, plus. Let me zoom in here so it's a little easier to see what's going on. Um, is the original start plus uh, slice length times, and then this is where we change it. So it's the exact same thing so if we add one to the slice index, basically. So um, basically, uh, we can actually copy this stuff, right? Because we're doing the same thing. Uh, but we just need to add one to the slice index, which is right here. Uh, in this case, so we, we know we're going to need another another add. I know these things have like two add operations, but I, I'm just doing using one of them just for uh, digital clarity, uh, if that even exists at all here. But, <laughs> but anyway, so slice, in, let's think about what we're doing here. Slice index, we already know this is, and then plus one. So we, we, we just need a constant one, so we can just use that from here. Um, and now this, sh you know, this should be like 
yeah, like one, two, and three, and four or something, right? Two, three, four. You know, I mean, um, yeah. So there's that, and now we can kind of use the same thing uh, as we were doing before. Over, um, where's this being used from? Yeah. So I just kind of copied the previous one as reference because it's a uh, it's a lot to think about. Um, sorry. So this is going over here. Um, and then this is going into the, the B, and then the A is actually coming from this again, I guess. Um, and then we're using the multiply into here, and this is a little insane, but we're getting there. And so, yes, yeah, see, our, our original end bound is 0.61, which is exactly what we wanted. So. I think we pretty much got it, so let's just actually plug this into the end here and step through our clips. And there we go, we have four different samples, the four different samples playing. So let's actually hear it. <laughs> sort of immediately resetting, so that's actually pretty easy to do, I can just uh, re-trigger this play. So obviously, I mean, this isn't, you, know, you need to do a little more work in order to like map this kind of system to a, a real like pad controller, but uh, this is kind of doing a lot of the hard work here in terms of the maps operations, and I hope that's interesting. <laughs> 